Hello again everybody. So in this video we are going to discuss about laptop motherboard. So before I begin, I just want to tell you that uh, this video is most likely intended for all the beginners and for all the people who is just uh, starting about uh, board level repair. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay guys, so we are going to talk about, uh, to discuss about the laptop motherboard. How does these things work and what will gonna happen after we uh, plug it in the charger into the charging port and many more. Okay, so make sure guys to stick around and uh, finish this video so that you will have an idea on how does uh, this motherboard uh, works. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's go into our desktop. Okay, so we will know about the concept of the DC in and the charging circuit of a laptop motherboard. So in this example, we are going to use this Lenovo Legion Core i7 with a 9th generation uh, processor. And the model is Lenovo Legion Y540-17IRH. And the board number is NM-C531 with a revision of 2.0. Okay, so we are going to use the charger, uh, the square type Lenovo charger, okay, with the rating of 20 volts at 230 watts. And this is the motherboard of the laptop. Okay, so we are going to concentrate now uh, in this uh, DC in circuit as well as the charging circuit. Okay. And then, this is the schematic diagram of the uh, DC in jack. So, as you can see, there is the JDC in 1, which is the charging port. We have the PF101, which is the fuse. And also, we have these uh, filter inductors, which are the PL101, PL102, and PL103. Okay. And next, this is the DC in circuit and charging circuit schematic diagram. So, we have here, we, go, we are going to use this uh, two end channel MOSFET as well as this uh, current sensing resistor. And as you can see, we have here uh, the BQ chip uh, 24780S. So, this is the most widely used uh, BQ chip in most of the laptop motherboard. Okay. And then, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, the charging circuit of a laptop motherboard, there is two design. It's either uh, HPB or Hybrid uh, Power Boost or the NVDC or the Narrow VDC uh, architectural design. So in this example, we are going uh, to discuss about the uh, standard, which is the HPB design. Okay, so uh, let's proceed. Okay, so uh, in this presentation, I make uh, color coding for you to easily uh, follow and to know where does the voltage goes and where does the voltage comes from. Okay, so I made a uh, color coding of it. So the first color coding we have is the green. So the green color represents the adapter voltage. Okay, so this is adapter voltage. This is coming from the uh, charger. And next, we have the orange. So the orange represents the main power rail. The main power rail meaning to say this is after the CSR. So later on, I will tell you or I will uh, different, differentiate this uh, between the two. Okay, the adapter voltage and the main power rail. Okay, let's proceed. So we have here the blue color, which is this is the uh, battery voltage. Okay, and last but not the least, we have the black color. So the black color represents the trace, the line, and the connection uh, from each uh, components and the different signals, etc. Okay. So in this example, we are using uh, the square type. Uh, Lenovo charger so we have here the charging port which is also a square type okay and then we have the fuse the fuse is uh, for uh, like a path okay uh, also a protection 
And next, we have the filter inductors. The filter inductors, they are there to filterize the voltage or the current passing through it. And then we have the first channel MOSFETs. And we have the second channel MOSFETs. So these two MOSFETs, they are acting like a switch. Okay, They cannot turn on unless they don't have uh, uh, voltage on their gate. And then we have the CSR. The CSR, this is the current sensing uh, resistor. Okay. So these components are the uh, components that we need to have the DC in uh, area. In some motherboards, you will only have uh, one uh, MOSFET. And also in some motherboard, instead of use, they are using a protection diode. Okay, so let's proceed. Next, we have this BQ chip, the charging IC. So this is comes from the uh, charging uh, circuitry now. Okay, so we will have this uh, BQ two four seven eight zero S. So this is the charging IC that we are using here, and we have also our high side MOSFETs and the low side MOSFETs. So these two MOSFETs are always tied up to create together to create a PWM signal or a PWM uh, pulse width modulation uh, voltage. They are the one uh, who is doing or creating a uh, like a converting the high si uh, the high voltage into the lower voltage okay so later on we will gather uh, we will talk about also this uh, pwm circuit so as for now we are going to stick here in the uh, dc in and uh, charging uh, circuit area okay and next we have the coil so this coil is also for smoothing the voltage and also we have this csr so as a, as a main uh, DC in also has this uh, CSR and also the charging uh, circuitry it has also a uh, CSR or the current sensing resistor and also we have the battery uh, connector so this battery connector this goes into the uh, battery okay so now we are complete okay so we have all the components that we need so now let's proceed on how does these things work how does the communication between all of the uh, components work so first here in the charging port as you can see there is a uh, five pins okay so pin number one and pin number five they are tied up together and they are connected into the ground pin number two and pin number four they are tied up together and they are the one creating or making the pass uh, passage for the main uh, adapter voltage so you can see here if you check your multimeter you will have here a 20 volts as per as the uh, charger is concerned if the if the charger has a 19 volts you can see there uh, 19 volts as well okay and the pin number three this is the ad adapter id pin so this is the one responsible for detect or detection of the wattage of the charger if it's correct or if it's wrong okay the next the voltage or the main uh, adapter voltage will pass through the fuse and it will enter into the filter inductors for smoothing or for filtration of the uh, voltage then after that it will enter into the first MOSFET drain it will not pass okay it will not pass from its drain to source because there is still no signal into our gate so how does this uh, uh, give signal to the gate or to to the gate of the first and second MOSFET so before that the main power rail also will give okay uh, the adapter voltage also will give a power to the BCC of the charging IC through the help of this double diode so this double diode uh, the pin number two is connected into the v-in so this is the adapter voltage which which is you can see is like a 19 to 20 volts here and also in pin three this is the battery voltage so that is why there is a double diode there because if we don't have a uh, charger connected the battery will supply voltage into the BCC pin of the pin 28 of the BQ chip okay 
So after that, the V in also, the charger also, will create a voltage divider. Okay, to give voltage to the AC depth. So AC depth, this is the AC detection. So the voltage there is around most likely 2.4 to 2.6. So it depends upon the uh, resistor that is populated there. And then after that, that uh, the charging IC has the uh, uh, VCC voltage, AC detect voltage, or AC depth voltage. The charging IC will give or will uh, generate its own LDO voltage, which is the reg N. So this is the LDO voltage uh, from the charging IC. Okay, so the voltage here most likely around 6 volts. And then after that, if all this uh, voltage is uh, present, so this is the time that the pin number 4 of the charging IC, which is the AC drive, will give voltage to the gate of the first and the second MOSFETs. Okay, so the voltage here is uh, uh, plus, six higher volt, uh, plus 6 volts higher than the source. So like, for example, we have a uh, 19 volts from the adapter, charger adapter, with plus 6, so we will have a 24 to 26 uh, volts. So as you can see in here example, we have this uh, 20 uh, volts charger adapter. So plus 6, so that will give you a 26 volts. So the voltage from the, from the gate of the first and second MOSFETs, which will, uh, which will be uh, around 26 volts. Okay, but, but this is only applied into the uh, N channel MOSFETs. In the P channel MOSFETs, okay, in the P channel MOSFETs, the voltage from its drain, uh, from its gate, is lower than its source. So sometimes, uh, the voltage there it's around 17 volts or 13 volts or something like that okay then after that the voltage will pass from the drain of the first mosfet and it will pass now to its source then it will enter to the source of the second mosfets and that's what we call the cmsrc so the cmsrc that is the voltage reference of a two n channel MOSFETs of their source okay so this is like uh, monitoring uh, the voltage there so roughly you can see here uh, around 19 to 20 volts here okay let's proceed so after that the voltage from the source of the second MOSFETs will also uh, enter into its drain and it will be outputting to go into the CSR so the voltage now will pass through the CSR and it will create now the V20B plus. So this is the main power rail. This is the starting of the main power rail. So this is the difference between them. Adapter voltage is only for the uh, adapter, for only for the uh, charger. Okay? The main power rail voltage, this is the starting point which will give the voltage to all secondary power rail of the motherboard like for example 3.3 uh, volts power rail uh, 5 volts power rail 1.05 volts power rail uh, 1.35 volts power rail cpu v core power rail uh, gpu v core power rail so, and so on okay so this is the starting uh, point of the main power rail so if you don't have main power rail there you can probe uh, you can check the multimeter the resistance of the csr to the ground so maybe it's shorted or something like that okay so many things to happen so let's proceed and after that um, the charging ic also has its own uh, current sensing uh, uh, path so this is the acn and acp okay the acn and acp they are the one uh, sensing the current passing through the CSR or the current sensing resistor okay so now after that the voltage is uh, okay the we have also already the main power rail so the charging IC now will send a signal an AC okay signal to the super IO telling the super IO that uh, 
all the voltage are uh, fine and normal there is no abnormality in the voltage or all good through the help of the pull up resistor that comes from v 3 volts ldo or 3 vl so this 3 vl this is the ldo voltage of the 3.3 volts uh, rail okay so the the main voltage will uh, will produce or will give voltage to the controller controller ic of the 3.3 uh, volts and the 3.3 volts uh, controller will generate its own ldo and it will supply here in a pull up resistor to give a signal to the super io that everything is normal everything is good so we can uh, press now the power button and turn it on okay something like that but me uh, take note also guys okay take note also take note in some motherboard architectural design instead of the in the pull up resistor instead of the uh, they getting the voltage from the 3 volts ldo they are getting the voltage from the reg n like as you can see here in the reg n of the pin 24 of the charging ic so it's six volts but the signal will not be six volts there will be a voltage divider there as well okay to lower the voltage from 6 volts into 3 volts uh, signal okay this is uh, from the different uh, uh, architectural design of the laptop motherboard okay so in this example uh, this uh, charging ic it's getting the enable signal or the signal comes that comes from the 3.3 uh, volts ldo Okay, so if now it's all good, as I have said before, this uh, main power rail, the V20B+, plus, this is the one who is producing a voltage to all the secondary power rail. So now, uh, the charging IC, uh, the charging uh, MOSFETs, this high side and the low side MOSFETs, okay, so the main power rail will be also uh, present here into the high side MOSFETs. So the main power rail will produce or will give a supply to the high side MOSFETs of the uh, uh, charging uh, circuitry okay then it will pass the charging uh, IC will give signal to the gate of the first of the high side MOSFET to let the voltage uh, pass from the so from the drain into the source of the high side MOSFET and it will go also in the drain of the low side MOSFET but this is just like a, for a blink of an eye like a milliseconds and then it will open uh, the high side gates it will open then the low side gates also it will uh, be closed so that the voltage the excess voltage from the drain of the low side MOSFET will dump into the ground okay then after that it will be closed again uh, it will be open again the low side uh, gate and the high side also high side also gate will be closed it's like just a pumping like an on off on off so uh, in another video I will make another video about this uh, explaining about this uh, PWM uh, uh, circuitry okay so as you can see here this is the uh, uh, what you call this this is a buck converter okay so this is a buck converter most likely a buck converter yeah this is a buck converter okay they creating a high si uh, high voltage into a lower voltage so the charging ic will be the one monitoring the voltage thus to control the voltage i mean to control the voltage that passing uh, through the high side mosfet and uh, the, the low side mosfets and the, uh, the voltage will pass through the coil so roughly you will have here like an 8 to 11 volts something like that okay from the from the from the coil okay from this coil then after that the voltage will pass into the csr also of the charging uh, circuitry and then it will goes into the battery connector okay so the battery connector uh, the, uh, this current sensing resistor also here 
we'll also have this CS, uh, SRP and SRN. So these are also the sensing or oh, responsible for sensing the uh, current or the voltage passing through this uh, CSR. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see here, the battery connector, it has also many pins. So it has the plus and minus from the battery and also it has also an SM bus uh, terminal which is the SDA and SCL. So this SDA and SCL, this is the SM bus uh, clock and data. So they have the communication between the BQ chip and the battery to the super IO. So this, they have like a two-way uh, communication between them to tell the, the battery, to tell the super IO that uh, how many percent is the voltage is, how many, uh, what's the, if it's uh, fully charged or not, okay? So this is the one uh, responsible for it, for communication uh, between the uh, BQ chip, uh, charging IC, the battery, and the super IO. So now you will have a question, what if I don't have the charger plugged in? So how does the battery uh, works? Okay, so don't worry guys, I got you. We still have one component left, okay? And it's called the battery to system FET. So bat to system FET, this is the one responsible for giving voltage to the main power rail if and only if you don't have the charger plugged in. So how does it work? It's just simple. As you can see here in the output coil, there is a path also leading to the source of the uh, uh, bat to system FET. And also it will just stay there unless the, uh, the charging IC will give a signal or will give voltage to the gate of the battery to system FET to let the voltage from source pass through, the, through its drain. And this is the time the battery will give voltage to all the secondary power rail. So the voltage there most likely like uh, 11 to 12 volts, something like that. So it depends also again into the uh, architectural design okay so one more uh, one more thing also the voltage here from the uh, battery it will not go uh, into the charging port why because as you can see we have here the second MOSFETs the second MOSFET also acts like a blocking MOSFETs so it blocks the voltage that uh, from the battery so it will prevent the voltage to pass to the first MOSFET into onto the up to the charging port, so it will it will just stay in the drain of the second MOSFET. So the battery now will be uh, giving voltage to the uh, main power rail. What if you are plugging uh, the charger? If the charger is plugged in, if the charger is plugged in, the charger IC, the charging IC will not give. A voltage in the pin 18 the pin 18 of the charging IC it will not generate its voltage to the gate of the battery to system pad so that it will not allow the the voltage pass through the source to the drain of the uh, battery to system pad so that is why this BQ chip is unique okay so that's all guys so I hope you enjoy the video I hope you learned something today and you have, you have an idea on how does these things work. And also we have a uh, Discord server. If you want to download this uh, file, okay, the animation file of it, you can log in and uh, join our server, Discord server, Sierra server. And uh, you can download the file there, okay? And the, that is a great community, guys. So everything, every, everyone there is uh, welcome and... Uh, if you have a problem with your laptop uh, device, any device, you can uh, seek for a help there. So you can like and subscribe or leave a comment, guys, if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's all. So thank you guys for watching and see you in another video. Bye.